Alright guys, welcome all come back in our Palm Master today and today we're talk about something very very interesting that uh, that I noticed, right? Actually a lot of um, people noticed. I think uh, I think it was Runner who pointed this out to me uh, at first, right? Which is if you look at Latias's kit, especially its grid, there's some things there that make you go, hmm, why is this thing there? What is going on here? Doesn't really make sense if you look at the rest of her kit, right? And it really does lead you to think what is DNA planning with this unit? Because this unit, like, is very, very different from all the other anniversary units in, in this one aspect, which does seem like, even though, I, in, even though, in my opinion, of all the poke fairs, she's probably the best one, but uh, she seems a bit incomplete, right? She seems a bit incomplete, and and we'll we'll, we'll talk about uh, why why I think that, right? So uh, let's first look at her kit, right? Because if you look at her kit. Right, uh, if you look at her stats and all that stuff, uh, she has pretty good, um, you know, special attack, and then she also buffs special defense with Mega, right? So pretty good special defense as well, which does kind of mimic her stats, right? Latias' stats in the main game, so that's, that's something, right? <laughs> um, to, 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 you know, notice. The other thing is, if you look at the, um, the moves, right, you have Mist Ball over here, and Psychic Wish. Mist Ball is Latias' signature move. Debuffs the opponent's um, special attack, favor percent chance to debuff the opponent's special attack by one, uh, which does make sense in this case, right? When you're trying to trigger a lot of your um, your passives and stuff, right? Uh, where is it? Um, mm, here is added insult. The more targets special attack and special defense are lower, the more it powers up uses moves. And in this case, obviously, again, this ball does lower the opponent's special attack, or at least has a good chance. And then you have some other stuff in her. Um, her, her kit, right? Like, overpower. The more the opponent's special attacks is lower, the more it powers up the moves. Uh, devastation as well, right? The more their special attack is lower, the more it powers up your sync moves. And then, yeah, that just very works very, very well with Miss Ball, right? Again, Miss Ball debuffs the opponent's special attack, and then you have multipliers for the special attack. And then, uh, same thing, you also have uh, at Mega Unexpected Benefits, you have a chance of double, you know, debuffing, right, with Miss Ball, so... It's minus two instead of minus one every time you use it. And then before it's mega, you instead have on roll, which has a guaranteed chance to debuff the opponent's special attack, right? Again, all this works in tandem with all these multipliers, which makes a lot of sense, right? And uh, the other thing is uh, Psychic Wish. So it does set Psychic Wish. It does make it so that Latias is, you know, mainly a Psychic type damage rather than a Dragon type, right? And it is, as a tech, has X special attack all, which is generally a support move, right? Which is generally a support move. And then you also have Moogage Acceleration, which, you know, some techs have. But that's also more of a support-ish kind of thing, right? Uh, that it has going on. And also your your uh, your sync move, innate multiplier, is the more the opponent's special attack is debuffed, right? The more it powers up uh, the moves, right? So, again, a lot of very, very interesting things. Um on the kit here's where it gets weird that's all you know that's all fine that makes sense it's latias right you should have those kind of stats you should have psychic terrain right you should have miss ball that's your signature move you should have these special attack debuffing multipliers to make you know use of the miss ball those all make sense what does not make too much sense is this what is this what is this why does latias have smarty pants which is the more the opponent's special defense is lower, the more powers up your sync moves, and then rain teaser, which is the more the opponent's special defense is lower, the more powers up your irregular moves. Why does Latias have these two nodes? Is the question because Latias does not have any special defense debuffing moves at all, right? Your only attacking move is Miss Ball, which again only debuffs the opponent's uh, special attack. You don't have any passives. You also again added insult as well, right? Special, uh, the more the target special attack and special defense are lowered, but you don't have anything to debuff the opponent's special defense. There's nothing on the grid that really does that, right? Uh, dismay debuffs special attack on, on entry, right? And you just straight up do not have any uh, stuff that debuffs the opponent's special defenses. So you're wondering, why is this on there, right? You could think, well, maybe... Okay, it runs really well with Mewtwo. Mewtwo has Psychic with Honor Rolls, right? Which has a good chance to defend the opponent's special defense, which is true. That is true. But what if there's something else to it? What if there's something else to it? 
here's what I think, right? What other... Because if you look at Latios, obviously, then the first thing you think about when thinking about Latios is Latios, right? They're the they're a pair of legendaries. Same thing with May, right? The her her counterpart is Brendan. And when you look at the kit, special defense debuffs. If you look at Latios, if you look at Latios, what is Latios' signature move, folks? What's Latios' signature move? Luster Perch, which by the way has one of the coolest names in terms of move names uh, in the game, right? Luster Purge is your signature move for, for Latios, right? You'll even see it over here. Luster Purge, damage healing psych type move introduced in Generation 3. It's a signature move of Latios. What does it do, folks? Luster Purge inflicts damage and has a 50% chance of lowering the target's special defense. It's basically Mist Ball. But instead of debuffing the opponent's special attack, it debuffs the opponent's special defense. What does this mean, folks? What does this mean? Does this mean all these nodes, the brain teaser, the smarty pants, the added insult, half of the added insult, does it mean these are all saved for when potentially Latios does come out and you run a May May Latios and Brendan Latios side by side, right? Both of them psychic, because again, Luster Purge is psychic as well, right? You have May over here to set, you know, psychic terrain. You have lot, uh, you know, you have May debuffing opponent special attack, where Latios slash Brendan potentially Brendan. I guess they could also give him to someone else. Oh, Brendan's the big obvious choice, right? And Brendan helps debuff the special defense. Or Latios helps Steve out the special defense for Latios's brain teaser and Sparty pads, and then Latios helps debuff the opponent's special attack for Latios's devastation and overpower, and then they work perfectly together. Right? That has to be it, right? Come on, come on, folks! It has to be. That has to be it. Anyways, that's 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 what I've been thinking. That's that's. Because again, otherwise these just don't make that much sense, right? Again, you can run with Mewtwo, but it just fit, it just fits so perfectly. It fits so perfectly with Latios and Luster Purge, right? So yeah, that's that's what I've been saying, right? When we first got May and, and Latios announced, because I don't, I don't think they're gonna drop because because I didn't think back in the you know back when we first got the announcement of May and Latios, I didn't think they were gonna. Drop two Hoenn trainers for the 2.5 year anniversary along with two psychic types, right? Not that it's impossible. They could, you know, for example, drop two dragon types as well in the anniversary. But, you know, that aside, I'd say the chance is relatively low, right? So I think maybe they would complete the duo, right? During the third year anniversary, right? Six months later, just like what they did with the 0.5 year anniversary with Sing to Red and Charizard, Mega Charizard X, and then. At the one year anniversary, six months later, you get Sing Tzu, Leaf and Mega Venusaur, and then Sing Tzu Blue and Mega Blastoise. You complete the counter trio, and then what you what they could do over here is at the 2.5 year anniversary, throw out Latios with May, and then three year anniversary, bring it together with uh, Brendan and Latios, right? That would fit perfectly. That would fit perfectly. <laughs> <laughs> Anyways, uh, I think it's I think it's a good idea. I think it makes sense. I think that's probably what it's sending at. Or else again, so a uh, brain teaser and smarty pants. Um, Latias straight up just cannot activate on her own, right? You need someone to activate it for her, and Latias would be the perfect, perfect, perfect partner. That's why I think this is gonna happen. Anyways, uh, shout outs to Jordan on Twitter, by the way, big Brendan fan. <laughs> Hopefully it comes true, uh, for him and all those uh, Brendan fans. <laughs> So uh, we'll see what happens. We'll see how it happens again. Just a theory. Just a theory. But I think a pretty solid one. I think it's a pretty solid theory. <laughs> Anyways, that's me with this one. Hope you all enjoyed. Let me guys think in the comments down below. Like this video, my channel for some more poems content. I'll see you guys in the next one.